Welcome to another dirty minute part of Dragon Quest Hero Rockets line. Uh, whoops. Um, crew. I'm gonna change the crew a bit. Uh, upper cannon, upper, lower cannon. Lower cannon. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's is gonna be my crew. And now let's go for the alchemy. Wait, letters. Yep. Fire water. Okay, <laughs> let's change the ammo. Now, fire water does no damage, but it, uh, it, it splashes fire inside the tank of the enemy for a short while, so they can't fire anything. It's pretty useful. Okay, let's go. Now we're all ready. All the way over here. These guys, these guys are really fun to kill. I'm gonna teach you how to kill them uh, later. Okay, how do you flip that chest? Well, the simple way is, and you've got it. Um, this is one. Of, uh, this does like 48 damage, so it's really good. No, it's at 100 ton, not 100,000. Uh, I meant 1,000 ton, not 1,000 slime ton. So that's why Rock is able to lift it. Now, there's another chest here. This guy will tell you how to get the, you know, if you didn't figure out. Now, how do you kill these guys? Now, you wait till them do this. You hit them, they blow themselves up. So it's pretty fun. Um, there's a place with tons of these guys around. So um, at that place, you could get ton. They uh, you could do this, and then they would just keep blowing themselves up, and you will have tons of mystery bags. That's another good place to collect them. The boomerang, its uh, value is as a <laughs> ammo. Oh, yeah. Um. This is how it works, by the way. Um, the boomerang, uh, what it does is, it allows you to, uh, when you throw it inside a cannon, it will go after s in a ammo, usually the closest one to your tank. And what it is, it does is, it will destroy that ammo, so. Okay. What you, uh, these guys, you can't lift them without one of the weights, like one of these.
and then with up. Uh, so now let's move on. You throw. Uh, how do you get those dragon light things? You throw away, and then they bounce. Um, the shock wave caused them to flip over their shell. Why is there so much lag? Like that? Why is there so much lag? And then you can pick them up and chuck them onto a card. Why is there so much lag? Okay, the lag's going down now. Another fire water. Shuriken! They're like really fast swords. Good damage and good speed. Okay, I finally got. I think it was the weight that doing the like. Let's see if it's anything. Oh no, 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 no. To collect. No. No, you move on to this area. You can't go the up way yet. Well, you can, but you shouldn't. Um, this is the slime that uh, to the yeah. and what she does is um if you color on the, the same on, she will create a statue of a monster, and if you eat the monster will be able to see the statue, and when monster see the statue, you talk to him. And it will join you. Oh, it will join you. Whatever monster that you collect dirt off, it will join you. That's a good place to collect um, turtles. Oh no! Darn it, darn it. Now I need to go get another rock bomb. Boomerang. There's a better version of. Uh, the boomerang. It's called the edge boomerang. What it does is it does the same thing as the boomerang, but it can't. It usually can't be destroyed except by certain things, like a scythe or the hero sword, um, or a iron ball. I think I'm not sure if the iron ball will destroy, but there are certain things to destroy, or there's a certain amount of on these things. And there's another thousand top here. Now, I've never... I haven't figured out this... Though I was like a lot later in. Oh darn! I can't plus three buttons at once. Or maybe I can, but this is gonna take a while. So uh, please wait for me while I config the controls so I can um, push three buttons at once. Okay, I've configured my controls and it should work now. Whoops. What the? Something on. Wait, let me fix it.
Okay, I just plus the wrong button. Okay, it should work now. You're supposed to stretch into those. And then release. And... You can see how, it, how well it worked. Why am I t getting so much lag? Maybe it will calm down when I enter the tank battle. Just chuck this at the platypus noob. Oh well. Anyways, let's let down the ladder. Let's chuck the wing at. This guy, and let's go into a tank battle, and you could see my strategy at work. This laggy. So it's guys like the drop for the things, huh? Okay. This is and then I just jump into the top lower cannon, fire. So two on the upper cannon and one on the lower cannon. That means the upper cannon will have more shots than the And I got hit. <laughs> oh well. Well then that means I have to smash the engine the old fashioned way. Go into the tank the old fashioned way. It will. It takes a long time. That's why you have to have the patience. Yeah, and then it will start getting red and smoky, and then keep hitting it. And then more smoke. For me, I usually like fire a lot of stuff, and then fire shield, and then fire myself through enemy tank, and then. And it breaks up then. And then let's wreck tank. Actually, I just like keep killing the enemy until they die. Wreck the tank? Oh yeah, you know, I never, I try ne never to break the upper tanks. Because if you break the upper tanks, eventually it'll start like firing on its own. Because when it burns, so, like stuff starts like burning, right? And it fires the stuff into the cannon on it. Yeah, but it's like a re re really chance. Nah, that was a few like seconds. I know, but the stuff it fires, it's like. But I rather do this. And I killed my own tank because I blew it up. <laughs> really? That's sad. Yeah, but I didn't lose the tank battle. But that's the reason you have two person on the upper cannon and one person on the lower. Because um, it will counter up all the fire, and uh, because the if it the automatically bubble, bubble, the fat guy takes a long time to fire. I know that's what stealing the weapons are for. No, he fires more faster than the other two. I know, but two on the uh, top ensures that no like stray ammo from the 
upper part will hit the tank. You do realize this will sound like you're talking to yourself? For some reason, the recording stuff doesn't really pick up my voice. It just sounds like squeaks. Really? Yeah. They don't pick up your voice? Yeah, if you pull it back, it probably won't pick up my voice. Like, even if I shout, my voice is like squeaky and like, it doesn't really pick up. And then more ammo. Sometimes the ammo will make it all the way into the edge of the tank. You, while you're there, you should at least kill those guys. They just respawn. It's faster just to hammer away their engine. So they do. They respawn a lot slower. And it, if you just stay there and keep killing them. Like Anyways, they killed themselves trying to pick up flaming arrows. So it's. So it's much faster just doing something like this. Really, I've tried. I've uh, um, I've like used the time. Uh, check the time. It actually is faster if you do something like this. Why do you like use boomerangs? Boomerangs. But what it does is it knocks other ammo out of the air. That Only one. Other. Yeah, but edge, you could upgrade it into edge boomerang, and then it will knock more than one. I'd rather have power over, like, uh, I'd rather have power over, like, defense. I'm, like, the offensive type. So then that's I have sad. Zero boomerangs. Then look at all, like, there's only one baddie in the tank right now, which is really, really sad. Away. Well, does it matter? I just have to wait for them to fire one shot. Oh well. Mm -hmm. I would just carry it over there. And then just as you reach the engine room, they'll fire something. <laughs> <laughs> just what you said. <laughs> um, um, your tactic doesn't work because of the fire water. What? Do you know what fire water does? I will show you. Yeah. Well, because you're, you're uh, you know, will fire like pretty quick. Um, so if they all cluster up while the fire water is there, they will take a lot of damage. I don't use fire water anymore. I do. I use it against, <laughs> but I use it against enemies, and it's pretty good. It just takes the enemy out. But then when it bounces. And it falls, it breaks, right? Yeah, so that's pretty bad too. I used to have a lot of those tanks. I usually tons. only have one or two of them. I used to have a lot of those ten ton dingies, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it broke up a lot. <laughs> I decided not to use them. Especially because the nuns on Bull Boba and that other baddie guy keeps dropping them. My tick battles usually take like a while. Mine ticks, mine stick pretty fast. My tick battles stick about half an hour because it's still left. I'm jealous of your window, it's older than mine. Boomerang and a slime. Ooh, I'm still ahead of ya! Yeah, but this is my fourth part. My fourth 30 minutes. Hmm, I'm already on like my 12 hours. <laughs> and hardly anyone watch my videos because I don't talk in them. Because it doesn't, it really doesn't pick up my voice. It's, for me, I'm do doing 100% uh, walkthrough also while I'm doing oh, yeah. There was this other time, remember, I had to restart, right? And when I restarted, I was like, what's that little thing over there? And then I realized I forgot a slime in the other video. Haha. <laughs> that is sad. No problem. I shot it the location of this slime in the second video. Use the thingy. I know, I know. I'm glad he doesn't have 
uh, a bomb thing charged up. If it is, he has to just blow himself up. Yeah, but I was right there, me up with him. It does suck. Oh, jeez. Of them's gonna die. Or not. <laughs> Fail. Now one of them is probably gonna die. Uh, or both. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a mystery bag. First. I f still feel lame since I lost my first mystery bag in my first, <laughs> first episode. Holy water. I'm gonna have tons of those things. This door. This is actual. Oh, it's one of the nighttime mobs. You, uh, how do you capture it? Is you have to. You have to wait till it appears and then capture it and throw it in there. So we need. One rock bomb and then a thousand weight. He tells you how to open the door. get the rock bomb and the down weight. It's pretty easy. Rock bombs are down there and then there should be a thousand weight around. And they blow each other up again. And then thousand weight right down here. And you got everything. Now all you have to do is get back there and you should be able to open the door.
you open the door, you stand on the other statue. And get ready for a tank fight. This is one of the tougher tank fights. Uh, it's really hard to use my strategy if you don't know how to avoid his attack. You could tell it's him by this soundtrack. Okay, let's go. Same strategy. Yep. Right commands. And let's see how far do I make it into his tank line. It seems I may make it. Now, one thing to keep about this enemy's attack, it's always uh, uh, it's always in a straight line, so you move out of its way. It could be diagonal or, um, and up, down, or, you know, anyways. Oh, shoot. Um, destroy these. Destroy these. And you can't pick him up on uh, your head. If you do, you will get instantly hurt. Now, another thing about its ability, it will hit you twice. Its attack will his attack will hit you twice. So just be careful. And he has no you know here. You might take some damage, which is very likely, but you will win if you keep to this. And I got him less than three fourths of its health down. So tank battle is not usually the thing that as you can see, that's the double attack I was talking about. Now I gotta find something that I can pick up and fire. When you beat him, you I'm not sure what you get. Let's wait. There we go. It's either a broadsword or a shield. Either will be good, but I think it's a broadsword. If he shoots up, it's no problem because most of the ammo will not reach. 